Hello guys, welcome back to All About SA Man Logistics channel. My name is Arvind Kumar. So uh, today I'm back with a query. Uh, as I discussed with you yesterday, uh, from now onwards I'll start. As I'll be start. I'll be sharing a session with you all, where I'll discuss uh, one or two queries a day. So yeah. So I have received a query from Alex the Great. Uh, the query is: Can you do some videos on warehouse management system and Excel? So yeah, uh, Alex, I have prepared a slide, a uh, content for you on warehouse management system. I hope that you will like that content. Please watch the video till the end, and uh, and also uh, for everyone who is looking for a uh, support in warehouse management system. So uh, before starting on this topic, let's uh, understand uh, what is a warehouse management system actually. So uh, I'll I'll start with the definition and I'll go in deep further. So let's try and understand first of all what is a warehouse management system. So warehouse management system is actually the group of computer designed programs through which we can perform our uh, daily warehouse operations uh, activities more effectively, quickly, and uh, through. Uh, and while performing those activities, we can uh, actually minimize the errors. Uh, probability of error happening while performing these uh, warehouse operations so this is actually where uh, uh, we uh, basically use this uh, warehouse management system or any company think of implementing warehouse management system in their warehouse so let's now discuss the uh, benefits that any company can get or uh, benefits why the uh, warehouse management uh, system is actually installed by any company uh, uh, let's discuss all the benefits one by one. Benefit number one: increase inventory accuracy. So, uh, uh, how 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 is the main question? How any company can increase its in uh, inventory accuracy through uh, installing the warehouse management system into their warehouse? Actually, what company does? What any company does? Uh, they actually, while receiving the products in their warehouse at the dock area, uh, they scan that product uh, at their facility and they actually uh, make the entry of that product into their warehouse management system and while storing this product into the rack or uh, into uh, onto the floor they actually uh, note the quantities of products received of each and every SQ that they have received and they put the entry of this into their warehouse management system so that an automated record is maintained into their system that uh, what SQ and in which quantity uh, is, has been received and uh, where it is stored uh, each and every record is there with uh, is there with them so uh, of course what if any company uh, uh, um, doing this all work manually if they will be counting the products manually and they will be maintaining a register in which they are noting down these uh, details so there can be the more uh, probability of error occurring in, in with respect to uh, the automated system because here what you are doing you are only scanning the products and you are uh, um, storing these products and you are maintaining every record of this into your uh, automated system so manual errors uh, uh, get reduced over here second benefit is achieve zero returns due to warehouse errors so there could be many types of errors while performing um, any warehouse operation. I'll try to explain this uh, to you with the help of an example. Suppose uh, there is a customer who has ordered a product A. Now while picking uh, the product from the warehouse uh, while packing the or while packing the order of this customer, uh, uh, there was a picker who have wrongly picked uh, a different product. Uh, he has ordered product A, but he have uh, picked uh, the product B from the warehouse. Now, what will happen? He will, if he was doing this all the functions manually, uh, he will just pack that product and he'll get it delivered to the customer's uh, doorstep. Now, uh, what a sys automated system will do? Sys uh, or an automated system scan every product that is uh, going out from the warehouse. So, uh, while uh, processing this particular order. Uh, the packer will be advised to scan this particular product so while scanning this particular product uh, your automated system will tell you that you are scanning the wrong product and you are processing the wrong product to the customer so errors like this get reduced through automated warehouse management system 
so yeah benefit number three improve want and debris so yeah of course when there uh, these kind of errors will be less you will be able to uh, deliver the product uh, timely to the customer and uh, this uh, automated system also helps you to uh, helps, helps the delivery wise actually to uh, make the route for uh, uh, delivering the products uh, suppose they need to deliver uh, three products at three different locations so he need to decide which product is to be delivered first so this kind of system also helps uh, them to decide this benefit number four eliminate the need for constant checks on warehouse operation so yeah uh, if you are maintaining your inventory manually you will have to check uh, this uh, every now and then that your inventory is safe or not or uh, a specific quantity of product of any SKU is uh, kept in your um, warehouse or not but if you are uh, um, doing this work uh, through system so you you will know uh, what SKU in what quantity at what location of your warehouse is stored so uh, this is actually reduce your manual effort also and this will also um, uh, help you to make a uh, record easily uh, of each and every uh, SQ. Benefit number five to improve order shipment completion. Of course, uh, uh, when there is an automated system, uh, you will be able to successfully complete your order shipment uh, from the uh, point uh, where you have received the order. And after that, uh, the end point uh, where you have to deliver this order, you will be able to perform the activities between these two points effectively if there is an automated system installed. Benefit number six to shorten order lead time. So first of all, we need to understand what is lead time. Lead time is actually in the point where uh, you have received the order, the time at which you have received the order and the time uh, at which you have completed uh, or delivered the product to the customer. So time taken between this is called lead, your lead time. So uh, of course, uh, when there is an automated system installed, uh, you will be able to uh, somehow reduce this lead time because less uh, uh, probability of error occurring and if you are effectively doing your work and you are uh, of course uh, there are some um, uh, automated machineries or also involved who 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 can actually help in this warehouse management system to uh, perform your uh, work uh, with more speed so uh, when these kind of machinery and these kind of systems helps you to perform these uh, warehouse operations, you will definitely able to reduce your lead time. Warehouse management system is also integrated with the all uh, with some other uh, systems in our warehouse. For example, inventory management, uh, uh, production planning, and sales and distribution. So uh, uh, inventory management we just now discussed. Uh, um, uh, we can actually uh, help in managing the inflow and outflow of uh, our of every SQ that we receive in our warehouse through this uh, system. But how can we do production planning with warehouse management system? So production planning is done can be done in this manner. Uh, for example, you have the record of each and every sales uh, that is uh, each and every order. Uh, that has been placed from the customer and and uh, you can actually uh, check uh, on the records that um, uh, how much sales is done for each and every SQ. So accordingly you can also uh, predict that uh, this product have the higher demand in the market so you need to uh, produce that product and you need to actually plan uh, the higher rate of uh, production for that particular product. So in this manner uh, uh, you can plan your uh, uh, production as well. Sales and distribution. Sales and distribution. Uh, suppose you have a manufacturing facility and you have uh, uh, you are a manufacturer of a laptop and you have uh, various distributors in the various regions. Now uh, uh, these distributors place uh, you the orders with the help of this uh, integrated system. So you will be knowing uh, at which region you are receiving the maximum orders and you will be making the records automatically. Uh, uh, the sale of each and every laptop that you uh, produce so uh, this actually helps us help uh, a manufacturing unit to plan its um, production as well and uh, he can actually make the product right product av available at right time uh, to the to to the distributor now let's look at some activities that we performed in wms uh, although we have already discussed all these activities in our previous videos as well now uh, we'll we'll just uh, look at them one by one so that we know these activities can also be performed through wms so uh, there is receiving there is locating put away put away i guess you know uh, moving the uh, material from the dock area to the storage area is called put away 
so uh, order fulfillment is there order fulfillment is uh, the um, orders received from the customer and and uh, fulfilling those orders uh, uh, while performing mm, through performing these uh, uh, warehouse uh, activities through wms so there is shipping uh, that can that we can also call it as uh, the delivering process basically and purchasing purchasing is the uh, if you are a manufacturer and you need to decide uh, uh, what product is need to be purchased from which uh, supplier and next is uh, inventory control so uh, inventory control is uh, you must be knowing that in managing the inflow and outflow of the product so you can uh, do perform all these activity through wms effectively and efficiently and also reduce the human errors basically and reduce your lead time uh, you must keep these benefits even every uh, company does keep uh, these benefits in mind before implementing implementing the wms into their uh, company or warehouse so uh, this is all about wms i hope i was able to answer your query alex and uh, uh, guys uh, each every one of you who are watching my videos can also give their suggestions or any on any topic uh, they want me to make video i will be really happy to uh, answer all of your queries and uh, there was one more query of alex that uh, he wants an assistance on excel so i'll try to make videos on excel as well although i guess you are uh, also expecting a help over uh, of excel into the wms if you are thinking of so uh, uh, there are companies who are um, uh, working on excel and they are managing their inventory inflow and outflow of inventory to wms and you can also do so but uh, uh, i would only suggest uh, if you have a, um, a small set of business then you can do these things on excel and uh, even i can also help you on this through creating a tool on vba but uh, uh, only if you have a small uh, business or a small enterprise so uh, all the companies who have uh, a big enterprise who are having their um, uh, big uh, e-commerce business or any logistics business they should go with sap or and there are many other warehouse management systems available in the market they can go with that so thank you very much guys uh, uh, that's all for now and uh, thank you very much for watching uh, arvin kumar signing off here